Welcome back to another video. We are going to attempt a question using some parameters related to a wire to find the resistance. As you know, resistance is the opposition to the flow of charge, and uh, that resistance can be affected by several things, the resistivity, the length of the wire, and the cross-sectional area. So let's suppose that we have a wire where the length of the wire is 150 centimeters, whereby the area of that wire is three millimeter square. This resistivity of the wire is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meter. Since we have this information here, we could actually go ahead and find the resistance, all right? So we're trying to find R, resistance. Now, the thing you must always pay attention to is whether or not your uh, units are in the SI units. For length, you know, that should be in meters. For area, that should be meter square, and so on. So right now, my area is in uh, millimeter square. Now, when you talk about millimeter square, what we're typically saying is that millimeter multiplied by millimeter, that gives you millimeter square. So, with that being said, we should also remember that milli means 10 to the minus 3. So technically you're saying 10 to the minus 3, we're saying 10 to the minus 3 meter multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 meter. Now when you have, when you have, uh, we call it exponent to the same base, right? And they have some powers and you're multiplying them. Laws of indices say you can add the powers. You can keep the, 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 expo the exponent, the base, which is 10 here, and simply uh, add the powers. But of course, once you're multiplying m times m, that's going to give you meter square. So at the end of the day, our area is going to translate back to being um, 3 times 10. So we have negative 3 plus negative 3, so it'll give you negative 6 meter times meter, meter square. So that's what you need to do to ensure that you're in the right units. If you don't do that, you're going to run into problems, guys. Best believe it, let's not make that mistake. Now, as it pertains to the length, it's in centimeters, so we need to convert that to meters. We could simply divide by 100 because uh, 100. Um, centimeters equal to one meter. Uh, also, because centi means times ten to the minus two, we could have said 150 times ten to the minus uh, two meters, and uh, that translates back to be 1.5 um, meters. So let's now take that information and plug it into our, our our formula to find the resistance. So resistivity, rho. Yeah. Let's plug that in, and uh, we know the length 1.5. Divide that by the area, which is three times ten to the Six, and um, obviously meter square. Now, go ahead and plug that in your calculators. When you work that out, you should get that your resistance is going to be 8.3 uh, times 10 to the minus 3 ohms. Just please check to see if it's also correct. Um, but I think you know it should be quite simple. You take this value here, you multiply by 1.5, and you divide it by that, and that should complete the, the question. But what I want you also to try to remember is that when you deal with the wire, right, the cross sectional area is a circle. So therefore, if you know the res the radius of the circle, then in some cases, if the question does not tell you what the area is, you would need to calculate that. The area of a circle is nothing more than pi r squared, where pi is uh, 3.14, times that by the area, times that by the resistance squared gives you the area. So those are some things you should pay attention to while answering questions of this nature. This is a simple question, right? And I expect that you guys should know also how to transpose your equation. We're gonna run through that very quickly, right? So let's see if we can also, let's say, suppose that you are given uh, certain variables, yeah? Right, and they ask you to find the area. Right now, because area is in the denominator here, it is dividing. If I want to make that become the subject, whereby I need to find that, I need to make it become the subject. At this point, R is a subject. So to get area across here, across the equal sign, you have to do the opposite. Okay. So on this side, I have to multiply so that when I when I when I, when I uh, divide, they would cancel out each other there. Yeah. And then I bring the A across here. Now, obviously, we need A by itself. So A, which is the area, is equal to uh, rho uh, times L over R. So that's when you want to make uh, when you want to make an um, area the subject. But well, there are scenarios where you might need to make uh, resistivity the subject. And so, for that reason, uh, you can just remove all the different things. Then you would see that resistivity rho is going to equal to R, right, times the area divided by the, the length. So that's what resistivity would mean. Of course, you must know the units of resistivity, which is one meter. Obviously, area is meter square, and resistance is ohm. So that's just a basic rundown. Hopefully, this was uh, helpful to you. Please don't forget to